hello friends welcome to another digital electronics tutorial in this tutorial we'll talk about error detection using two dimensional parity check parity check is the most basic form of detecting error adding an additional parity bit to the data can help you in identifying whether an error has occurred during the transmission or not but as I mentioned in the previous tutorial it is not a very good way of detecting error it's pretty lame and is erroneous at times when the number of errors are even so we have two dimensional parity check which is far more sophisticated than single parity and it's used for large blocks of data and used to overcome limitations of single bit parity error correction techniques the overhead per load is very large in single bit parity one bit of parity is sent along with the block so that is a huge uh, overhead per payload and it is unable to detect even number of errors as I mentioned earlier now two-dimensional parity check is efficient and sophisticated let's say we wish to transmit four bytes so as I mentioned in the first point that it is used for large blocks of data these these could be you know numerous uh, bytes these could be hundreds and hundreds of bytes for this big chunk or big block of data we simply need to add one more row and one more column after arranging that data in the form of a matrix so the overhead per payload of the data becomes small and small as we increase the block size so how do we do or how do we implement this two-dimensional parity check we f arrange this block of data in the form of a matrix like this and we add additional row and an additional column to the matrix now this additional row and this additional column will have entries depending upon the parity that we wish to use for example if we wish to use even parity in order to make the number of ones even in this row we'll make or we'll add one uh, or a zero for example this had five zeros uh, I'm sorry five ones then we'll add one more one to make it as even parity this has five ones so I'll add one more here this has four ones so it goes a zero and three ones I'll add one more one to make the entire number of ones in this row to be even and same thing happens with uh, the columns I'll count the number of ones if the number of ones are even then I'll put a zero here if the number of ones are odd then I will put a one here and this final bit here is going to be super crucial because this is going to count the number of ones in the column containing parities of the rows so if you look at this particular column this column is consisting of the parity parity bits of the rows so it had three ones so I add one more one here and finally what we will send is for M blocks in this case M was four and each block is of 8 bit in this case the transmission will happen for m plus 1 blocks and n plus 1 bits so if earlier we had 4 blocks now we'll send 4 plus 1 5 blocks and if earlier the block size was 8 bit now the block si size will also become 9 bit so it is a simple formula to remember that for m blocks and n bits 
we simply need to transmit m plus 1 blocks and n plus 1 bits so we'll send these 9 bit blocks 5 9 bit blocks to the transmitter and the transmitter will also arrange those 5 blocks of 9 bits in this matrix format and it will again see, see whether uh, it gets a if it gets a 1 here so it will calculate whether the number of 1's are even or odd so it will check the parities of each and every row and each and every column and that way the detection of error becomes far more sophisticated and it can detect up to 3 errors unlike the normal parity which can only detect up to one error so that's how two dimensional parity check works and i hope this quick tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for latest updates and notifications i'll see you around in the next video take care bye bye